Okay, ready? Okay, what's good, everyone? We're back in my body right now. You know, my body, you seen this? Losing up, man. Yeah, this is my favorite gym in the city. But either way, we're doing a little push there right now. More like raw, informative type of deal. So, it's got my boy Mark behind the camera. Shout out my dog. What's up? Real one, real one. First of all, you know the model, though. Look good, feel good, feel good, do good, do good, live good. Live good, you get paid good. That's enough, that's enough, that's enough. Okay, okay. First things first, though. First things first. No matter what. Keep going, you don't ever want to play yourself, bro. Always warm up. Coming from me, I've been injured for a whole year straight now, so I take that shit seriously, no lie. So first thing first, rotator cuff. That is the most common injury in the shoulder. First thing we do is like this. So, right arm, internal external rotation, other arm, and then it's gonna spin it around, other way. You could do, you could do dumbbells, but dumbbells, the point is going from gravity. Gravity is pulling it down. With the cable, that's pulling from a specific point, so it's working like your rotator cuff different. There's an internal external rotation. You stay fixed right there. You stay fixed in the elbow. You can walk by, it's all good, yeah. Yeah, no, we're just messing around. Okay. <laughs> all right. But actually, you're making me look small, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta get other angle, gotta out angle this guy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's just lightweight. That's lightweight, like, lightweight. lightweight. No, no, exactly. Like this, you actually want to do lightweight. You don't ever want to play yourself. One thing I forgot to mention too is warm up your rotator cuff like this. I would even like put the pulley up a little bit. Like you kind of want the same elbow as, level as your shoulder. Yeah, I got you, dog. There, See? there you go. Learn something new every day, bro. He's kind of small too, so that's why he's an amateur, <laughs> oh, you know? <laughs> hey, yo, I kind of got ahead of myself a little bit. I didn't even explain to some of you guys that might not know what push day means is you want all the pushing muscle groups. So, Chest pushing, shoulder pushing, and like tricep pushing down. Okay, so it's mainly chest, shoulders, tricep. And for every single chest exercise, your shoulders are a secondary muscle that's highly involved. So, gotta work the shoulders properly. You don't wanna get no injuries, bro. Think of it like this take five, ten minutes to warm up instead of taking two to three months out of the gym. You know what I'm saying, Mark? Mm hmm. Damn right. That shit catches like up. Couple to you. Years, bro. So, what we do, you're gonna do lateral raises, just light dumbbells. This is eight pounds. This is light work. So, light reps. We're gonna do lateral raises, 12 reps. Bent over, rear delt, back of the shoulder, and then 12 more, front raise, front shoulder, or for all you scientific man, for anterior deltoid, all right? And then after big that- Big facts. Big facts, and after <laughs> that, just push-ups. 12 push-ups. Push-ups warm up the same muscle you do for chest, and also your rotator cuff. Like I said, if you don't want to get injured, you don't ever want to play yourself. So exercise number one, incline dumbbell press. The main thing with the aesthetic, like looking good, Building that upper chest. Bro. The hardest part of the chest to grow, but it looks the best once it's grown. And plus, it's, once you get a little bit of muscle in the upper chest, your whole chest is bigger. So, mm -hmm. for the bench, just like when incline your bench, you're flat. You know, people put it like two, to, two inclines up. My recommendation is put it at the first incline, bro. The first incline, more upper chest, less shoulders. We don't want to work shoulders right now. Like, my mm -hmm. bad shoulders. I got geezer shoulders. You feel like an <laughs> 80 year old man. I don't want that shit, bro. So, light incline, you know, shortest incline. I don't know what the proper term for that is, whatever the lowest thing is. And um, yeah, more chest, less shoulders. Damn right, bro. Let's get it. What? Yo, can you say that again, dog? Yeah, I see your video. Hey, yo, real one, fam. Yo, respect for that, bro. Real one. You seen that video? Or are you a hater? Shit. Yeah, he's a hater, dog. He's a hater. <laughs> uh, two things. One, you don't want to injure your shoulders. I got, I got messed up shoulders, bro. So instead of, I'm sure I told you this earlier, Mark, instead of benching like this, turn your hands like this. Have a dumbbells on an angle. Instead of your elbows going out wide, they're going mm -hmm. side. Less, less stress on your shoulder. And point number two, it's easy to go down and just like use your yeah, elasticity of your joints and legs instead of balance. Let's go, control, up. It's harder, obviously, but bro, Always. more work, dog. More work, more results. So this is another thing, too, bro. You don't ever want to play yourself. Warm up properly. So this is what we did 25, 45, 65, 80, and then we're doing 90s right now. 80 is feeling light, bro. So light work, I'm trying to step my game up there. So let's get there. It's good, bro. Hey, yo. Even though I'm going up a weight, don't ever sacrifice form for weight. That's rule number one, bro. Damn right. I uh, get it. Light work. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Something like Light work. Should I should pick up the shirt for that one, but. <laughs> 
Let's get the mine right, bro. Yep. We got a song one? We got the track, yeah. Man's rocking that Alpha Lead, huh? Hmm? Man's rocking that Alpha Lead, bro. Always. Seriously, you get what you pay for. Quality is worth it. Yeah, wait till my merch comes out, dog. Wait till my merch comes out. Coming soon, bro. Coming soon, yo. Fuck that Alpha Lead, dog. You got extra schmediums, bro? <laughs> yeah, extra small for you, dog. You know. Same. Let's get it. <laughs> Let's get it. Right. Easy work, bro. Let's get it. Let's go, bro. Easy. Let's get it. Let's go. Push, yo. Drive your feet. Let's get it, yo. Let's go. Easy, bro. Get out of your own head, bro. Let's get it good. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's go. Good shit. Good shit. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say the video. It was that time for a couple baddies around. And I'm just playing video for our round dog. Get you ready? Snow baddies, get ready. You know what I'm saying, Mark? Facts. Facts. <laughs> get it, dog. So next shoulder press tip. Same thing kind of with the with the incline with the chest press. Instead of pressing it out wide like this, like people normally do. Bring elbows in a little bit. There you go. Bring those elbows in. You notice the difference. You don't the diff your back like some like this. Like you keep your back. There you go. Like What's up, Mike? Light work, huh? Light work? Light work. Light work. Light work. Let's get it here. I could probably push heavier than this. It's only 40 pounds, but honestly, I'm trying to go for good form. Feel the muscle working rather than just trying to throw weight around. That'll always, good form will always trump heavy weight. That's facts. At the end of the day, you're trying to work the muscle. You don't want to overwork your joints, so. Exactly. Remember, your joints don't heal as fast as your muscles, so take care of those joints. Let's get it, yo. Slow eccentric, slowing the way down. That tears the most muscle fibers, and then speed up. Okay, yo. It's for the things, eh? But yo, yo. How did that feel in your shoulders, though? It feels much better. Yeah? Bring those shoulders. Rather than flaring them out, bring those shoulders in. Fact. Yo, exercise number three, lateral raise. So it's side shoulder. Think with this, bro, this adds that V taper dog down. With wide shoulder, skinny waist, fam. That's the goal. That's the goal. That's the goal, fact. Damn, bro. Seated, no momentum. Look at those arms. This is 15 pounds, but this is light work. This, you don't want to go heavy. You don't need to go heavy. No, you don't want, you don't need to go heavy. Just go light and put that squeeze. Damn right. You know, don't go above 90. Stop right here. You don't want to go up here. Always. Damn right, yo, they're popping, bro. Oh shit, yo. Damn, you're making me look small. Okay, yo. One thing about the mention, bro. If you follow me on IG, if you're not, you already slack but you'll go follow your boy. You know the vibe. If you're not tracking, you're slacking. If you're slacking, you're lacking, you're lacking, not stacking that cash. You know what I'm saying, bro? Facts. Alright, cool. So, yo. You track your progression, bro. Each week, you want to do better than the last week in terms of reps, weight, or form, alright? So, 
I'm gonna track after the set. And you think you can get away without tracking, bro? You might remember the first day, maybe the second day, third, fourth, fifth day, bro. That shit's long gone. It's You're gone. Never gonna ever again, bro. Nope. It's went down. Model number two. You can measure it. You can manage it. Mm-hmm. Tell them, Mark. Tell them. Truest shit ever said. Let's get it. Let's get it. Look at that. Full contraction. Boom. Remember what we said. Lightweight and good form will always trump heavy weight. Exercise number two. Actually, I don't even know what number of things is four or five. <laughs> number two for shoulders. Cable lateral raise, bro. You're going to notice we don't do any front raises. Reason being is that your, your shoulders got three muscles. You know, I've explained it before. Anterior, lateral, posterior, front Ooh. side, and back. You can see all three of this man is right here. God damn. It's small, but that's the thing. Yo. Everyone's over dominant in the front shoulder and under dominant in the back shoulder. Mm -hmm. so you don't do, I don't do any of this, but every single pressing, chest press, shoulder press, this muscle is so highly involved and you don't want to overwork that muscle. You want to get that full cap, that full round shoulder. So, with that being said, more lateral raises, less front raises. Mm -hmm. More ripped out. So, I guess we can do it right in the middle of the body. So, you have inside foot up. Just like, Just like that. Come out. You can see, comes up to the top, holds it, squeezes at the top. Activate that side delt. You should feel the muscle working. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, dog. Am I looking fresh now? I'm looking small, yo. Okay, fresh as fuck, uh, knees as fuck. Let's right, get it. Up. Quick summary three chests, three shoulders, two triceps, a lot of upper chest, mainly lateral deltoid, and uh, just triceps as well. So that's the main thing. That's for push day. Then you got push pull legs. I didn't even break this down either, yo. I used to do like a four day split. Chest, uh, chest and tries, back and buys, shoulders and legs, rest, repeat. Um, I, yeah, I've been doing that for a couple months. Now, now I'm onto this for a couple months. So that's mm -hmm. like my second, third month in this. Switch every two to four months, but switch up that split. But yo, yep. that's too much, that's too much info right now. <laughs> I'll see you for the next video. Right, yo. You know the vibes? Spam that like button, comment everybody about to say, shout out my boy Mark, I'll take his ID right here. Someone Respect. Screen, follow your boy and um, where the bat is at? That's it, that's all. Ciao for now. Where the pings at? Where to find some pings? Thank <laughs> you.